So I had my doubts that this was ever going to happen, but it just did. A jailbreak for the Analog Duo, their FPGA Turbo Graphics PC Engine clone console. So jailbreak's going to allow us to, you know, sideload games to an SD card without having the original media. I'm going to put a link down below to this uh, GitHub page with the jailbreak, but let's go ahead and get into it, get it installed. I do have my Analog Duo in the box right here. I, have you know, did a video on it. I've used it a few times. It's cool. Not perfect. You know, it is what it is, but hey, a lot of people have been looking forward to this and it's finally here. So let's just jump into it. Let's take a look at the instructions and some of the notes and then download it, go through the whole process. I have an SD card plugged into my PC, ready to go. But here we go. Extract everything to the root of your SD card. Be sure to first remove. Make sure you don't have any existing firmware files on the SD card. I'm using a brand new SD card, so I ain't worried about that. Everything else goes into Assets PCE Common. That sound that looks familiar. That's like the uh, files, the folder structure for uh, like with OpenFPGA and whatnot on the Analog Pocket. Interesting. CD files must be in their own subfolder with respective Q and bin. It's recommended to organize other files in subfolders. Optionally, place the system card BIOS with extension .pce inside that folder, BIOS folder. Okay, so here's some notes on things that this is capable of doing, I suppose. Uh, you could force super graphics mode by naming the file with the extension .sgx. Interesting. Uh, resume browser. We're not going to read through all that. Link down below so you can take a look. But we're going to try this out, load some games up. But where are we going to download this? So right here where it says releases, version 0 0.9. Go ahead and click on that. And then down here, duo firmware jailbreak 0.9.zip. Download that. Let's put it on my desktop for now. It's right here. I'm going to go ahead and extract that. Extract the duo firmware. It's down here. Okay, so we're going to put all of this onto the SD card. Okay. Now I'm going to plug in, get my duo set up real quick, and then we're going to do this jailbreak, make sure everything goes through, and then load up some games. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna try this again. It wasn't recognizing my SD card when I put it in the Duo, so I took the SD card that I originally had in my Duo that I was using for saves, and I'm gonna put the jailbreak firmware onto there. So there it is, pop it over, and hopefully it works now, because it was not reckoned. I was wasting like a ton of time trying to get this working, but let's try it now. So we got that jailbreak firmware on that SD card. Let's go ahead, pop it out put it into the duo. Okay, so here we go. Got the duo right here. Gonna pop the SD card in there. My wireless controller is not uh, charged, so I'm gonna use an actual PC Engine controller, plug that in, and then let's power on and hope for the best. Hopefully that knows, oh, there we go. It is working, upgrading. So maybe I just had the SD card formatted incorrectly. So now we should be good because I kept popping in the one that I demonstrated earlier um, and it just wasn't being recognized. It wasn't even being recognized to use it for, you know, library saves or any of that stuff. So, okay, upgrading. Let's give this a moment. Okay, there we go. During this whole process, uh, I didn't want to pick up the Duo because I didn't want to accidentally unplug it, but the little light on the front was flashing yellow um, and now it's not on at all. So let's finish this upgrade, load some games. Upgrade complete. So I'd imagine it would, oh. Whoa, insert game, play asset, all right. I'm gonna take the SD card out, put it back in the PC. We're gonna load some games up real quick. Okay, so there we go. Uh, where do we put the game skin? Assets PCE common. All right, so there's the BIOS. Let me, um, I'm gonna bring this over, put uh, Dracula X the whole folder in there, drag that-ish on into it. Uh, and then let me find a couple cue cards. Jackie Chan, why not? Magical Chase, New Adventure Island. Okay, let me go ahead and remove that from my PC, put it back into the duo and see if we can load some games. Okay, here we go. Let's go to play asset. Hey, they showed up. 
All right, let's let's try a new adventure island play. Oh, it loaded right up. Look at the quickness. Oh, I got the turbo on. That's why I wasn't running. That's why he was running slow. I had turbo on. Oops. I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't reckon, I don't recognize him running that slow in this game. Oh, I hate the boomerang. Okay. How do we get out? Okay. Quick game. Play asset. Okay. Here, here we go. Let's, let's try Dracula X, a CD game. Play. There it is. Konami. Okay, so this is freaking awesome. I let the uh, intro video play through once so I could just skip it. Um, but let, let's jump into this, see if it actually... I mean, it should run. It's booted up, right? But this is freaking sweet. Okay. So, hey, I mean, maybe now, for, for many people who bought the Analog Duo, who've been a little disappointed, maybe you'll be happy now. Um... I think it's cool. I mean, I had options to play all these games. I have the Turbo EverDrive uh, Pro, and it works just fine for me. I have a small collection of games. You could always burn discs, you know, and, and play them that way. Uh, you know, I've played the English version of this, the English translation version of this through disc on the system. So there's tons of ways to play your games on this device, but many people with all these analog consoles, they want to be able to load their games through an SD card. Like, I, you know, it, it is what it is. I get it, you know? You, you wanna get the most out of your analog devices, especially how expensive these things are, man. But this is pretty cool. Let's, let's let this play through. Stage zero, prologue. Oh, do we have new options in the settings? We'll check that in a moment before we go. We're gonna wrap this up, but this is all working, so this is really cool. Yeah, go ahead. Throw your your skeleton, your your little skeleton thing. Hadouken. He just said, "Peace out, bitch." I'll see you later. Okay, this is dope. This is cool. This is cool. I hope everybody who's been hoping for this is happy now. But yeah, these games are playing just fine. It seems. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Settings. I think these are are new because it was only startup action and set date and time. So they'll add the library. Okay, so they they added those things. It did mention that on the GitHub. So hey, there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, so let's load up another game. Make sure these games actually run. Play. I accidentally put on the Sony uh, CRT filter by accident, but whatever. It was a hot key. I, I haven't used normal controllers, original controllers. I keep, I've keep i been using the 8-bit though controllers, so I, I keep getting confused on on how to bring up the, the menu. So I accidentally pressed the wrong combination. But there you guys go. I appreciate y'all watching. I hope this helped. Links will be down below uh, to download the Jailbreak. Appreciate y'all.